Popcorn, and I'm waiting for Nicholas to arrive so that we. Sorry if this is crunching too loud for you to hear me. I'm waiting for him to arrive so that we can go to our favorite park to do our favorite hobby, which is hammocking. We bought an inu, which I think is how you say it, because we found this perfect spot at this park by the lake. We put up the hammock. Beautiful view, relatively uncrowded, especially on a weekday. The boats come by and they make little waves crash up onto the shore. It's very peaceful, very, very peaceful. And going outside is one of the most enjoyable hobbies these days, because as we all know, not a lot's been going on. Not a lot's been going on in terms of activities. I pretty much just dilly-dally go to work, existential crisis or two, um, I think I'm gonna bring some snacks with me, I think I'm gonna bring caramel cheese popcorn, let's see what else we have, okay, quite a few. Some Trader Joe's Sour Scandinavian Swimmers. Another type of popcorn. This is just cheddar flavored. And he likes these power berries. So I'm gonna bring these for him in case he doesn't want. You know, there's like a salty and a sweet. This is his sweet, my sweet, our salty. Should be a good time. I'm excited for him to get home. my natural movement and now I'm shy. Wait, you can't zoom in and out when you're recording? You just can't. Okay. Stop. I want to figure it out. You are very zoomed in now. And you still look so adorable. <laughs> That's not what I want. <laughs> I want it like a, like a POV. This is my POV. <laughs> I'm just always this focused on you. <laughs> Matcha time. Ice. My mug, which stays with me always. It's gonna be simple today. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a little matcha cha cha cha. This is what I'm using right now. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, here. This one, I got it from Whole Foods. It's very good. I had it once, and now I'm gonna have it again. I think I'm also procrastinating a little bit because I don't really know what I'm doing with my day. Um. The matcha is made. I put a little less vanilla today. Still hitting. Anyways, now it's already 11.15. The morning has flown by. I don't know, something that's weird about this period is like on the days that I don't have work, work is my only required attendance activity. Work is my only responsibility. Where I used to have school as like something that's happening every day. Like regardless of how I feel or what's going on, school is happening and I have to be there. It's nice to have that kind of like outside push or requirement of somewhere that you have to be because you can't, I mean you can like just like miss school because you don't feel like going but for the most part you just have to push through it and go and i don't really mm, sorry i don't really have anything right now that's like requiring me to be there so if i'm not quite feeling the most 
I don't know. Like, it's just, I don't know what to do today. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Going outside requires money to be spent on things that I'm only spending money on just to do them. You know, I'm thinking about going to a cafe and editing, which I probably will end up doing, but going to a cafe guarantees money will be spent. You know what I mean? Like I like I already made my matcha. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I like making my drink at home. And then I want to go to a cafe, but <laughs> it's just stupid. It feels stupid to complain and talk about this. Like I have, I don't know. I was talking the other day about like how embarrassed I feel in this era because it's like, I feel embarrassed that there's not a lot going on career wise. Like everything school related has always been leading up to a career and I don't have that right now. And I know that a lot of people don't have that right now. I am embarrassed at my like inability to, I don't know, like I'm embarrassed that I have nothing to do. Like I'm embarrassed that my day is like gonna be nothing but frolicking and I'm embarrassed that I'm stressed about picking something as a frolicking activity, you know? It's like stupid, I don't know. For a while, like leading up to this, like there's always been something interesting that I had to sh like share or say about my identity. I felt this, a similar feeling to this when I stopped playing soccer when I was like 16-ish because that was my fun fact. Like when it's the first day of school and everyone has to go around and say like a fun fact about themselves or something, like my identity was so largely tied to this activity that I did. When I stopped that activity, I stopped having something to say about myself, something to define myself as. Now I have nothing, you know? I mean, I don't have nothing that's dramatic, but I'm severely, <clears throat> Not severely. Can I speak in like not such dramatic terms for once? I feel like I'm filling every role now. I'm the class, I'm the leader, and what, what if I don't want to show up, <laughs> you know? I could like maybe go to the grocery store, or my boyfriend bought me this game. One second, I forgot about this. Wait, something has revealed itself to me. Um, so I could play this game, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's on. Exciting sounds coming out of this. Wait, this is so fun. Okay, wait. I think I'm I think I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm headed to IKEA. IKEA, IKEA, IKEA to get a bedside table, some shower things. And what else? Maybe like some kitchen stuff. So this will be a fun mission. I'm excited. I love having a little task. The sun came out. It's hot. It's October 1st today, but it does not feel like October 1st. It feels like July 1st. It's so hot. And I want to wear like a cute, I want to wear like a little fall outfit. But oh well. Okay. Okay. Bedside table secured. Now it's time to open her up. This is gonna be a fun little project and it might take me more than an hour, less than an hour, I don't know. I love, 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 I love building furniture though. It's like a little puzzle. It's like a fun, fun little puzzle. Although I don't know how to get this out. I think compared to last week, I have just, I feel more accepting of the theme of this era, not without talking and crying about it 50 million times, as it normally takes for me to come to terms with something. But hey, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes, you know? Goodness. And I don't know if this is like a temporary feeling, like, you know, maybe in a couple weeks.
I'll be once again drowning in a hopeless, bottomless pit of despair. But one second, let me just get this open first. Ah, uh, out. You know what would be a fun job? Building furniture for people all day long. Maybe I should be like a task rabbit or something. A task rabbit who specializes in building people's furniture. I think I'd be good at that. I love, I don't know, it's so tangible. There's concrete steps to follow. Maybe it's everything that I'm lacking in my life. Concrete task with laid out instructions, just what I need. I'm feeling more positive just simply because I've accepted the fact that this isn't maybe my busiest or most maybe necessarily productive era. I've done a lot the last four years and all of my life. And so maybe the opportunity to do not much for a while is just what the doctor ordered. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Me and Bjorksnas, Bjorksna. I don't know how um, Swedish works. Bjork, Bjorksna.